In this video, we are going to show you how to construct an oven cabinet. There are two methods to construct an oven cabinet. First is using the clips and screws provided in the box, which we will show you in this video. And the second method is to use a pneumatic brad nailer and staple gun. Either method will provide the necessary strength and durability for building your cabinets. First construction method requires wood glue, rubber mallet, and a screwdriver. Second construction method requires wood glue, rubber mallet, pneumatic brad nailer with 1 inch 18 gauge brads, pneumatic staple gun with 1 inch 18 gauge staples, and a screwdriver. To start, remove all contents from the cabinet box. For the oven cabinet, it may be best to have another person help during the assembly. Start by placing the drawer box front face down on your working area. Place a bead of wood glue in all the female dovetail joints. Next, take a side panel and tap the dovetail joints together. If you are using a nailer, place a brad into the dovetail from the side. A brad nail can be placed in all dovetail joints, but do not place one in the area of the dado. Complete the other side the same way. Once the sides have been assembled, slide the bottom bore into the dado. Finally, install the back of the drawer box. If you are using a nailer, place a brad in the back panel of the drawer box down into the side panel. The drawer is now complete. Repeat these steps to complete the other drawers and place them off to the side. Next, install the hinges on the doors. Once complete, place them off to the side. Before starting the cabinet box construction, insert clips on the side panels. The side panels have three locations for clips. After installing the side panel clips, place panels off to the side. Now, moving on to the cabinet construction, place the face frame of the cabinet face down on your working area. The cabinet face frame has pre-drilled dados on all four sides to attach the cabinet panels. Now, locate your clips and using the silver flush mount screws, attach them to the face frame in the designated areas. Then, place a bead of wood glue in the four grooves of the face frame. Next, place a side panel with stained or painted side out. Ensure the side panel is flush with the bottom of the face frame and that the dados align. Now, use the clips that you pre-installed to attach the side panel to the face frame. If you are using a pneumatic staple gun to fasten the two pieces together, place a staple every four to five inches. Continue on and complete the other side the same way. After the two sides are constructed, Place the top and bottom panels in the dado between the two sides. Ensure the panels are seated into the face frame dado. Use the clips you installed earlier to fasten the panel to the face frame, but do not fasten to the side panels until the back panel is installed. If you are using a staple gun, fasten the bottom panel of the cabinet to the face frame. Continue on and construct the top panel the same way. An oven cabinet has a third panel that is inserted into the upper middle of the cabinet. Install that panel as you completed the top and bottom panels, but only fasten the clip located on the face frame. To install the toe kick, mount the clips onto it. Then, fasten it to the sides with the clips. If you are using a brad nailer, install the toe kick from the front by inserting brads. The last step in completing the cabinet box is to install the back panel. First, install glide supports on the back panel. Place the back panel dado side up and install the glide supports. There will be pilot holes for the supports. To install the back panel, place it dado side down and insert it into the side panels. Once the panels are aligned, use the pre-installed clips to fasten them together. Locate the pilot holes on the back panel and use the black screws provided to mount the panel. If you are using a nailer, fasten the sides to the back panel by inserting brads into the side. With the cabinet on its back, install the doors. Extend the hinges to an open position and use the silver rounded screw to fasten the door to the face frame using the pilot holes. If the door is not square, use the adjustment screws to correct. Next, you will install the soft close mechanism by placing it onto the top hinge attached to the face frame. Make a full turn on the screw on the soft closed for completion. In the same location of the soft close, take the screw out of the hinge and reinstall the screw with riser attached. Now, stand the cabinet up to install the glides and drawers. Starting with the bottom drawer, take the glides and place them through the face frame and slide them into the back support. Flush the glide up with the front of the face frame and use one of the silver flush mount screws to fasten it. Now, extend the glides to install the drawer box. Make sure the back is locked into the hook and the sides are seated into the pin. Repeat these steps to install the other drawers. Next, place a bumper on all corners of the doors and drawers. Now, use the silver flush mount screws to finish mounting the last clips, 
located on the underside of the upper middle panel inside of the cabinet. You will notice another shelf board available along with two support boards. These pieces will not be installed until the oven is ready for installation. Now the cabinet is complete and ready for installation. Clean the cabinet of any unwanted glue or debris. 